okay before i start this video you know i want to say make sure to like this video if it actually helped you you know the like button is free you know you don't really got paid for anything so yep all right anyways the first thing you're gonna want to do is go over to layer new and then make a solid layer here and then you're gonna go over to your effects and presets uh panel and type in cc particle world <laughs> so you're gonna drag this right there or you could double click whatever you want now you're gonna have this what right you're gonna be like, what the hell is this you're gonna go over to this panel over here go to producer and then go to x radius and change it to 725 and then go to uh radius y and change this to 725 and also do the same thing with uh radius z once you have that you're gonna have all of these particles right go over to birth rate and change this to 0 0.4 and then longevity, you can keep that there. Now you're gonna go to physics, go to velocity, put this to zero, go to gravity, and also turn this to zero. Now you're gonna want to go to particle, and you can choose all of these, but for this video, we're gonna be uh, focusing on stars. So there you go, you got these little stars. Now, if you want more stars, you can go to birth rate, and add more. Okay, so my stupid self forgot to say this, but you can go to particle, and then you can also change the color of your particle right here whatever color you want so now go to extras effect camera and this is how you're going to change the rotation of your stars so you can go rotation x set a keyframe um and then go a couple frames forward and change it to 180 so now you're going to select both of them by either highlighting them like this or just clicking over here and pressing f9 or you could right click keyframe assistant and easy so as you can see f9 right there so now you're gonna want to go to graph all right so for this graph i'm gonna be going like this and like this as you can see we got this smooth little rotation and now we're gonna want to go with the y press u go to the end of your clip and then change it to 180 highlight them then easy ease and now go to graph okay now this graph is gonna be different since it's in the middle you want it to be as smooth as possible if you have it like this let me show you if you just have it like this look how it's gonna look Try. It, it goes way too fast so what you want to do is make the graph something like this and if we play it yes sir yes sir um also if you just want the stars to be still like that you can keep them that way but i like adding motion blur and you're gonna see a big difference look at that looks so sexy look at this oh my god that looks so sexy okay i'm pretty sure you're gonna want to have a cube or like some type of picture right here so go ahead and import a picture i'm pretty sure that's how you spell it Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, What's sir. my brand new whip just hopped in? Oh, yeah. Once you have your picture, go ahead and uh, put it on here. All right, so I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, first of all, you're going to have to make this a three layer rotation. And you use both X and Y, so you're basically just gonna want to copy your own frame, your own keyframe that you made over here. And that's pretty much it you can add more adjustments like zoom ins or turbulence on top of it like you pre-compose both of them and it just add add it on top of it you can do whatever you want i'm not here to tell you what you're gonna do and what you're not gonna do you can do whatever you want